Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I want to determine the total sales of different quantities of different products for a given location. So we take the first range of data. I've got uh, 2,000 units of phones, 1,500 tablets, and 1,800 televisions. And those three products have different prices, 100 for the phones, 200 for the tablets, 1,200 for the televisions and I want to calculate the total sales for Atlanta. I also want to calculate the total weight of the shipment of these products. So I want those same quantities multiplied by their appropriate weights. Now, one approach would be to sort of create some arithmetic to solve this for you. So you could, you know, say, okay, the total sales is gonna be the 2,000 units of phones multiplied by the price of phones plus the 1500 uh, quantity for tablets multiplied by the price of tablets and then add that to the quantity of televisions 1800 multiplied by the price of the televisions so I have three multiplication formulas or equations being added together and that gives me two two million six sixty uh, and then if I wanted the weights I would essentially do the same thing but go against the weight column um, and you could think about maybe dragging this formula to the right, but of course you would want to uh, lock the references to columns B, G, and C. I'm sorry, uh, B, B, C, and D rather with your quantities. You wouldn't want those to shift if you drag to the right, um, but you would want the reference to column G to shift over. Um, and then, of course, then you have to fill it down and worry about locking row numbers, etc. So, even though the math here is not complicated, it's tedious. So, let's look at going about this in a different way. I'm going to select the range where I want all the results to go. So, I want results in column K and L. And we're going to create what's called an array formula using the matrix multiply function or mmult. So the mmult function is an array function that allows me to sum the multiplication of two arrays or ranges of data. And the, the only requirement for the structure of your data here is that the first array has the same number of columns that the second array has in terms of rows. So in other words, I've got these three uh, columns for phone, tablet, and TV. That's got to match three rows of data in the second range with the prices and the weights. So what the mmult function will do is multiply the 2,000 by the 100, the 1,500 in the quantity for the tablet by its price, the 1,800 in uh, televisions by its appropriate price. And it does all that for you together. And if you select the, the whole uh, uh, result range where you want the results to go, we can do it in one fell swoop. So I'm going to select my first array. Uh, which is uh, B3 through D10, comma, and my second array will be uh, G, uh, G2 through H4, close paren. Now, this is an array function, which means you have to enter it uh, as uh, control shift enter from your keyboard. Otherwise, it'll just do it in the one cell, and if you try to extend it to your other cells in your result range, it's going to start, you know, filling and adjusting the, the row and column references, and you'll have a big mess on your hands. So we're going to do Control Shift Enter, and that enters it as an array formula. And you can see the curly braces around the formula that we wrote. And so we can see the two million six sixty uh, for the total sales of phones: uh, two thousand by hundred, fifteen hundred by two hundred. So if we just kind of want to sort of error check this we could do it ourselves right equals 2,000 uh, times 100 plus 1,500 multiplied by 200 uh, plus 1,800 multiplied by 1,200 so that does give me the 2 million uh, 660 for the prices or the total sales in Atlanta that if I wanted to check that the weight uh, worked I would do equals the 2,000 of phones in Atlanta multiplied by the weight of one pound. Add that to the 1,500 uh, in tablets multiplied by the weight of three pounds. And again, add that to 
the 1800 quantity of televisions multiplied by the 50 pounds and that gives me the 96,500 but again you can see how tedious it was it was actually faster to do the uh, to do the array formula I mean like if I did it manually the way I did it here then when I wanted to extend that down uh, for say Boston you know then I'd have to you know if I wanted to copy the formula down I'd have to sort of uh, you know, I could I could I could drag this down uh, but now the problem is that has shifted off of the appropriate prices so I, I gotta lock the row numbers uh, in the columns G and uh, H for G for the prices so I would have to lock that uh, to be you know G3 uh, G4 and uh, rather G2 G3 and G4 right and so that would then give me uh, the appropriate price for Boston then you got to do the same thing uh, with the uh, weights you know you'd have to set that back to uh, you know H2 H3 and H4 so you know theoretically of course you could go in and, and lock those references um, with the dollar signs right so that those row numbers wouldn't shift when you copy down but you see how much quicker it was to just do the array formula so I hope you found this useful please come back soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr Peace.